Before tayo mag-proceed sa isa, let's do another random post at ito ay post ni Sir Zap Man dito sa Philippine Civil Service Review for All. Itong tanong na ito, what is the ratio of one-fourth to three-fifth? Nasagot ko na to dati, hindi ko lang siya mahanap yung mismong isang tanong na ito. Itong sa kuan, ano tawag dito, ang nakita ko lang, nahanap ko lang is what is the ratio of one-half to two-fifth? Pero ang mismong tanong, hindi ko talaga mahanap siya. Pero I'm sure na-upload, baka nandito to. Uh, ito yata, nandito yata siya sa, nandito yata, meron dito. So anyway, gawan ko na lang siya ng sarili niyang tutorial video. Kasi nandito siya sa, pang ilan ba ito? Ito, ito miss, ito yata yun. Ang sagot dito ay, asa na ba yun? Wait, ha? Ito, what is the ratio of one-fourth to three-fifth? Let's do solution number one. Cross multiplication. Sulat natin si one-fourth is to three-fifth. I-cross multiply lang natin. Unahin natin dito. And this is five. Four times three equals 12. So, ito na yung sagot. 5 is to 12. Another way of solving this is multiply both sides by 20. So, this is our solution number 2. Ito yung 1 fourth. Yung isa naman ay 3 fifth. I-multiply natin ng 20 ang both sides. 20 times 1 fourth or 1 fourth of 20 is 5. Tapos yung isa, 20 times 3 fifth, isa-isahin natin yan, 3 fifth times 20. Lahat ng whole numbers, mayroon yan automatic na denominator na 1. So, numerator to numerator. And that is 60. 5 times 1, that is 5. So, 60 divided by 5 equals 12. Or, pwede rin ito, cancel out mo lang yan. 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. So, ito na yung sagot, 5 over 12. Another way of solving this, convert to decimals. Itong si 1 fourth, that is equals to 0.25. Ito namang si 3 fifth, that is equivalent to 0.6. Ngayon, mag-move tayo ng 2 decimal places to the right. Okay, para mahol numbers lang sila. So, this will be 1 to 25. Tapos yung isa, 1, 2, tapos yung space niya ay lagyan natin ng 0. So, that is 60. 25 is 260. I-list natin yan by finding the greatest common factor. Ang greatest common factor nitong dalawa ay 5. So, 25 divided by 5 and that is 5. 60 divided by 5 and that is 12. So, ito na yung sagot. 5 is to 12. So, meron na tayong solution number 1, solution number 2, solution number 3, depende kung saan dyan ang gusto nyo. Now, let's do solution number 4. Para lang meron kayong mga choices kung saan dyan ang hiyang kayo or gusto nyong uh, gawin para lang makuha yung tamang sagot. Solution number 4. Just do division. Okay? 1 fourth is to 3 fifth. This means 1 fourth divided by 3 fifth. Now, let's do division of fraction. Kopyahin itong i-divide natin, si 1 fourth. Si division maging multiplication. Ang divide so reciprocal niya ay 5 over 3. Now, i-multiply na natin. 1 times 5 equals 5. 4 times 3 equals 12. Again, 5 over 12 or 5 divided by 12 is the same as 5 is to 12. Remember, ang ginawa natin ay 1 fourth over 3 fifth. 1 fourth over 3 fifth means 1 fourth divided by 3 fifth. Division of fraction. So, ito na yung result. 5 over 12 and 5 over 12 is the same as 5 is to 12. 
Nag-gets nyo ba yun? I-recap lang natin sa glitha para sa medyo nalilito dito. Ito yung numerator natin. Yan siya. Yung bago itong is to is to natin ba? So, ito yung numerator natin. Nandito siya pa rin. Nasa first. Now, ito yung ginawa nating denominator. Yan siya. Nasa pangalawa. Ito yung denominator siya. Diyan naman siya sa pangalawa. So, therefore, 5 over 12 is the same as 5 is to 12. Now, let's do solution number 5. Although, lahat ng mga solutions na pinapakita ko dito ay pariho lang naman sila. Pinapakita ko lang yung lahat ng mga ways para ma-solve ang problem na ito. At depende na sa inyo para mas lalo nyong maintindihan siya ba. Okay. Another way of solving this, ito na yung pang lima nating solution, is just find the least common denominator nitong dalawa. One fourth at three fifth. Ang least common denominator nila ay twenty. Okay. So twenty divided by four equals five. Five times one equals five. Now, 20 divided by 5 equals 4. 4 times 3 equals 12. Ngayon, ignore mo yung denominator. Pareho na sila. Ang sagot ay itong 5 is to 12. Again, never memorize the answer. Kundi yung paraan kung paano natin ito sinagutan. Thank you.